Oh, what the? Ah, <sighs> it's you. <sighs> what have I told you about waking me up? Really? That's a hell of a gamble to take. <sighs> You're lucky that I'm nice. And that I already know you're harmless. I won't punish you. At least for now. Oh? Oh, you think? Okay, big brain. Wake up another nymph sometime. See how that goes for you. <sighs> and now that I'm up, what do you want? <laughs> really? You're that bored? <clears throat> okay, fine. I guess it's past time for me to get up anyway. The day has already begun. Hmm. I'm not feeling any issues in my springs today. Is there something going on I need to know about? That's good. I'd hate to have to punish a mortal for harming my lovely waters. Yeah, no, I'm kidding. I'd love the chance to do that. It's been a long time since I got to smack someone down. <sighs> oh well. Maybe someone will earn my wrath later. Hey, maybe it'll be you. Oh, come on. You can hardly help getting on my nerves. It's only a matter of time before I have to make you wish you never met me. Please, you know I have amazing powers. Dominion over the waters, blah, blah, blah. People used to worship me, you know. Seriously, animals were ritually drowned as sacrifices to me. Children would cut off their hair and throw it into the water for me when they came of age. It was beautiful just how much mortals looked up to me and wanted my blessing. Yeah, looking back, the hair thing was kind of weird. It's not like I needed that. Or the animals, for that matter. Ritual sacrifices were just... wasteful, frankly. I'm glad that trend went out. Along with togas. Not my favorite style of clothes. No, not at all. So... breezy. Lots of bare knees knocking about. Hmm, you know... Call me crazy, but I kind of enjoyed bell-bottoms. <laughs> Shut up. You don't get to judge. You're immortal. You're at my mercy. Of course. You're only here because I allow it. I tolerate you because you amuse me. Even the day we met, you got lucky that I was amused by you. You made some pretty hilarious sounds as you were swept away in the river. No, oh, I laughed and laughed, but then I suppose I felt bad for you. No sense in letting you die if there was a chance you could still entertain me. Besides, I had nothing better to do right then than fish you out of the current. So, like I said, you've been lucky. Oh, I regret it every single day. I definitely should have left you to it. And now I'm stuck with you coming around all the time. Oh well, I guess even nymphs make mistakes. <laughs> hey, do I smell something good? No, you can't pretend it's nothing. What did you bring me? Come on, tell me. Did you? <gasps> That's amazing. I love those. Are you going to share? I mean, you woke me up, so you better share. <laughs> Yay. Give me some. Ugh, <sighs> please. You are truly the most irritating mortal. If it wasn't for chocolate muffins, I wouldn't have any use for you. Hmm. <sighs> these are so good. How did I go so long not knowing these existed? Yeah, well, I know it now, thanks to you. Of course, credit where it's due. You've introduced me to lots of things I wouldn't otherwise get to enjoy out here in the wilds. I can't go too far from my springs, you know that. 
it's nice of you to bring me treats, especially since I like to pick on you a bit. Well, you know, it's just part of my charm. Besides, you deserve it. And I think you enjoy it. <laughs> sure you do. You keep coming back, don't you? Are there more muffins? Mm, thank you. You are a saint. A demigod, even. Actually, no, that's too far. <sighs> so what are you up to today? Oh, that's right. You mortals and your weekends. Seems strange to just stop working like that. But I guess you're fragile creatures. You need time to rest. Should I be flattered that you're choosing to spend the weekend with me? Psh, I was joking. It's only what I'm due, after all. I'm delightful. If any other mortals knew I was here, they'd probably want to spend time with me, too. And then they'd build shrines to me, and they'd go back to sacrificing hair to me, and the next thing you know, I'd be a minor deity. Ugh, sounds exhausting. <laughs> you know I'm worth it. I keep waiting for you to build a shrine. Nah, it's fine. You don't seem like the handy type. Besides, chocolate muffins are more than enough tribute. Hmm. To be honest, my sisters would be insanely jealous if they knew you brought me these. Oh, nymphs are jealous by nature, and these are especially tasty. Well, not all nymphs are as kind as I am. You might be forced to turn over your muffins if you want to live, that kind of thing. Or they might make you choose the prettiest nymph to give the muffins to, like a beauty contest, which never ends well. The goddesses have done that on occasion. Well, the winner is always pleased. The losers tend to find a way to exact revenge, and the human doing the judging is never the winner. Hmm, best if we keep this our little secret, don't you think? Ah, that was delicious. What a perfect way to start the day. <sighs> Will you be swimming today? That was one time, and I was just teasing. I wouldn't actually drown you. I mean, come on, I did save you before. Why would I do that just to drown you? You make me sound like a cat playing with a mouse. I'm wounded. <laughs> Come on, you can swim. I won't harass you. Much. Look, I'll even stay over here. There you go. Water's nice, right? Water is... everything. Life itself needs water. And water is teeming with life. I almost feel sorry for the other nymphs. The ones who aren't part of the water. They don't know what they're missing. That's true, I suppose, but still, water is superior. I'm not biased, it's the truth. Go, you swim. I'm going to relax here and enjoy the sun. It's getting warm out already. And I promise not to bother you. Hmm, <sighs> so, how's life been on the land? Sounds fascinating. No, wait, what's the word? Boring. It sounds boring. <laughs> I'm kidding. You know I find you interesting. Of course. You're one of the more interesting humans I've ever come across. Is it? I'm not sure I meant it as a compliment, but take it how you wish. You know what? Yes, take it as a compliment, because now you have to give me one. Oh yes, that's the rule. I complimented you, so you must compliment me. Immediately. And it has to be sincere. Tell me something about myself that's great. Because I said so. Do you really want to argue the point? Just compliment me. I'm due for one. Haven't had any worshippers in a long time, remember? It's taking you a long time to come up with something good to say about me. 
Mm-hmm. I'm sure if it's that hard to choose, just pick the first thing that pops into your head. Am I beautiful? Smart? Terribly witty? The greatest nymph to ever live? There really is no limit to the compliments I can humbly accept, you know. <laughs> oh, go ahead then. Oh, that's... No, I just suppose I didn't expect such a genuinely nice comment. Thank you. That was sweet of you. Yes, it was. You know, be careful there, human. Keep this up and I might think you actually like me. Well, I, I know we're friends, but we aren't overly friendly, are we? It's not my style now, is it? I'm what you humans call introverted. I like my waters and my space. When I'm bored, I make a little mischief here and there, but friendly, eh. Have I? I suppose I've warmed to you a bit. Maybe. Well, it's your fault, you know. You keep coming around, and you keep bringing muffins. What's not to like about that? You're practically wooing me. Oh. Did I touch a nerve? Your ears are turning red. Yes, they are. Hmm, you know what? I think you do like me. Why else would you come here? Oh, true, the waters are nice, but there are nice waters in lots of places. I think you like me. I think you like me a lot. Well, what do you say for yourself? Now, that's just childish. You can't stay underwater forever. But I can. <laughs> Come here, mortal. We are not done with this conversation. I'm enjoying watching you change colors. But I don't have any interest in seeing you turn blue. Oh! How did you get behind me? Oh! Oh, I was right about you. I'm not the only one with a mischievous streak. You might as well be a nymph as troublesome as you are. Caught you. Your wrist is mine, as well as everything attached to it. I am the victor. <laughs> Not so fast. Your freedom comes at a price. What do you have to offer me? Your pleas fall on deaf ears. Offer me a bounty, or I will not let you go. Oh, and what is the offering? Do not waste my time, mere mortal. Tell me how you'll buy your wrist back. I did not expect that. You've surprised me again. No, it's just... Very well, then. I'm feeling magnanimous. You may pay your ransom with a hug. Just here. <clears> hmm. <throat> huh. That was... nice. Hmm? Oh, yeah, there. You're free. You know, I enjoyed that. Yes, I did. More than I expected to. Shut up, it was your idea. Like I said, I think you like me. Well, who could blame you? I'm amazing. Maybe you will get that shrine built one of these days. Fine. Just keep bringing the muffins. They will grant you access to my lovely waters. Of course. Just be careful not to like me too much. Could be dangerous. Of course I'm not dangerous. Not to you, anyway. Probably. <laughs> oh, you know what happens when nymphs and mortals get together. Haven't you heard? Sometimes it doesn't go all that well. Well, I suppose that's true. Not every time. 
Fair enough. Sometimes they live happily ever after. <laughs>